Last year, we spoke to someone struggling with understanding their software estate and any of the inherent risks such as technical debt or obsolescence. They didn't know it at the time, but clearly they were set an impossible task. Can you imagine how to analyse 177 million rows of data to identify the individual technology product used in your company and then align that with up-to-date research on its release or life cycle without using automation? IT Visibility from Flexera does this within seconds. The solution processes your discovery data in near real time and aligns it to the world's largest technology catalog, Technopedia. This doesn't just cover top tier vendors. IT Visibility provides clean and enriched information for any software you are using or want to use. You can see here a long list of manufacturers in our demo environment. For only 4,000 computers, there is a seemingly never ending tale of software, but I can now see with precision the numbers of categories, products, versions, and installs for each manufacturer. On a day-to-day -day basis, people tell me they are tasked with standardizing their software estate, but are incapable of uncovering overlapping tools and wasted spend. Once processed by IT visibility, this is simple. Never before have I been able to see the 102 different categories of software running in my estate. And this view has saved Flexera customers millions as they identify and remove waste. Why do we have 41 different analytics products? Are there any overlap? Why are there 16 different conferencing products and such a small number of installs? I can also see prohibited products such as BitTorrent in the peer-to-peer -peer networking category. Thankfully, I now have information though, which I can use to drive decision-making. Customers tell us having a view of version sprawl helps them to understand technical debt. Sometimes it highlights bad technology governance, such as having 55 different versions of Firefox. Now that's crazy and it's likely to expose us to countless vulnerability risks, but version sprawl might also help us understand our landscape in terms of upgrades, backwards compatibility, or code changes within in-house systems such as the 37 versions of Node.js. As with any of these reports, drill down is available to be able to see the underlying system details. As mentioned, we speak all the time to organizations who are worried about obsolescence. They know their estate is aging, but they don't know by how much or where to start reducing their risk exposure. Driving into the reporting within IT visibility shows me there are 1,463 versions that are out of support in my environment. Technopedia research captures lifecycle dates published by manufacturers. Importantly, we capture those lifecycle dates for the specific release of the software. For example, if I filter for databases in version 11.2, I can see we have multiple entries for Oracle database 11.2.0.1 up to .4. All of these versions represent the market version 11G R2, but I can see from the lifecycle dates there are four years between the individual releases supportability. We know this has also caught out some very tech savvy organizations in the past. Technopedia content engineers track three lifecycle dates for software a GA date when the product is available for sale, an end of standard support date when the product moves into some kind of paid extended support, and an end of extended support date when no support is available. The following report shows me the situation facing me next year. I can clearly see the numbers of products which are about to change status, and this intelligence can help me trigger action to remediate the problems. For example, at the end of the year, in December, a lot of Oracle products will be end of extended support. I need to make sure we upgrade these systems, and I also need to make sure we're not paying for extended support when it's not actually provided by the manufacturer. I've shown you how IT visibility can provide clean, consistent information about software assets, which has been enriched with key data points such as category and lifecycle. The discovery data has been transformed into information that can be used to help inform decision making about your software estate.